hi everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to show you how to test the ready to go ai agent example i'm going to begin by launching a new instance of chrome and then i'll go to n8n and then we are going to sign in so here's the n8n website so i'm just going to sign in put in my n8n cloud account name And then I'll click sign in, put in my email and then password to sign in to end it and click sign in. I'm using the free trial. It is 14 day trial. Here's the interface for end it and on this page, I'll just click here to test a ready to go AI agent example. This example shows you how to build an AI agent that interacts with your calendar. So you have to connect your accounts and then claim your free 100 open ai calls in the open ai model node connect your google account in the google calendar node credential section after you connect you are ready to test click chat below and start asking questions for example you can try what meetings do i have today this is the chat button for this test example a trigger is always your starting point for your flow and then you have notes the note can be an ai agent like in this case to see what the ai agent is doing you can also open it to see the details on the left you are going to have your inputs and on the right you have your output this ai agent takes in an input and helps the user answer questions about their calendar and it is connected to an open ai credential that you have to create it has memory from n8n and then here you have a connection from a google calendar so I'll click back here's the chat was on my calendar it won't work but we can test the first note was on my calendar today and then we'll send and as you can see the first node is executed it is green now if you open this the output indicates that it was executed successfully it gives you the time and the date so let me go back again so building things within anything always test each step to make sure that it's successful before proceeding to the next step to successfully test this existing model we need to have an open ai account so that we can connect that credential to, to open ai and then test it here we also need access to google calendar so we have to set the credentials to establish an open ai credential i'm just going to click here and then click open you can see that this is the input from the trigger it receives an input and then it triggers and it moves on to the next step this input will be used in this open ai model and once we have the credential set up and we run that step then you can have an output here from the open ai model we can get 100 free open ai credits if you want to get that just click claim or if you have your open ai credential you're just going to go here and click create credential so let me click claim credit i have claimed the 100 free credits these free credits are only for the gpt4 mini model it includes text embedding dali e3 whisper the latest text moderation so here's my N8N free open AI credit that has been awarded. This step now is green, so we can go back and test this step. I'm going to click the back button. And now you see that the exclamation mark like here has disappeared because we now have established a credential for open AI. On the Google Calendar tool, I'm going to click the three ellipses. I will also open that and then we're going to go here and establish our credential. So I'll click this drop down and then click create credential. Once you click create credential, it is going to ask you to sign in with Google. So you should use your Google account to sign in. So I'm going to click sign in, sign in to Google and establish your NADN Google credential. So here I'll put in my email address. And and then click next on the gmail app i have two-factor authentication that's why it's asking me to, to open the gmail app and tap 97 yes it's me 97 anything cloud wants to access your google account select what anything can access there are two options here we can allow anything to view and edit events on all of our calendar or we can give anything the option to edit 
share and permanently delete select what any then can access i will select all and then i'll click continue connection successful we have established this connection and then we can close out of it now if you look within the google calendar we have an active connection tool description automatically set based on resource and operation or we can set it manually so we are going to leave it to automatic in terms of the resource we can use an event the event is when an end user puts in a message the parameter calendar is required select the drop down and then pass in our email this note we use the time zone set in NADN's settings but you can override this in the workflow go back all of the errors are now removed so we can now fully test this workflow to see if it is actually working the way it is supposed to the flow is ready for testing just put in the chat tell me what meetings i have today and then i'll click send as you can see here the flow is actually running uh node executed successful so as you can see here this uh, particular test flow succeeded if you now open this ai model you can see the input the input that is coming from the execution you are a helpful assistant that helps the user answer questions about their calendar today is sunday blah 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 tell me what meetings i have today that was the input from the chat in terms of output here is the output from that run you don't have any meeting schedule for today this is what it does it takes in an input from the user and then it runs and gives an output for that the question was to tell me what meetings i have on my calendar today it looked through my calendar and it did not see any meetings that's why it said you don't have any meeting schedule for today and then the token usage you can see completion tokens 19 prompt tokens 196 total tokens 215 used for that execution executed successfully that is that for this demo i'm going to end the video here but if you like it comment subscribe so this was a basic ai agent demo for this sample a simple Google Calendar AI agent within NITN that uses OpenAI and then it uses the Google Calendar to take an input runs and then looks at the user calendar and answer questions based on what the end user is asking. This is a simple example. Going forward, we are going to create complex AI agents or complex automations within NITN. We are going to connect to different applications or we are going to be using different APIs to build our automations. If you like the video so far, please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.